any of you guys that watch my content will know that through the years I haven't had the best things to say about Dan James. And I might look like a hypocrite, of course, um, because of the positivity I'll be pushing forward. But I will uh, admit my wrongs. I know there are times in life that I have been wrong and maybe I don't admit it. But I feel like for the most part in my uh, streaming career, if I do make a mistake or if I do just get it wrong, if, if one of my takes are wrong, I'm pretty okay to admit when, the, when they are. It might not be in that exact moment, but a few hours later, a couple of days later, I'm always okay to go back and, and kind of critique myself for uh, for some wrong opinions or wrong ideas I've had. I, I've done it through the years and I feel like this is going to be another one. So late night last night when this was the, the, the Dan James deal was really taken picking up speed come the tail end of the uh, the transfer deadline day. I was like, okay, so wh why are we going back from in my head over the last couple of years? I've always said, screw Dan James. He was a done deal with us and decided to just piss off and then eventually go off to Manchester bloody United. Now that is a deluded Leeds United fan talking there and thinking like that, right? Of course. Um, but at the end of the day, I always had that opinion, like, screw him, man. I, we don't want him. We can do better. We can get better. Uh, but as mentioned last night, I decided to go back and look back at the uh, the Leeds United documentary because I remember uh, specifically Victor Orta being super upset about that deal not happening. Um, so you go back and, and, and watch what happened when the deal broke down between Leeds and Swansea. And I, sh I mean, you should never be hating on a player anyways, really right? At the end of the day, it's a job. Either way, they're just earning their bag. They're trying to do what they're trying to do, right? But if you go back and look at that, he was at Leeds all day, all day, all night, wanting the deal to be done, had the paper signed, was all confused, all upset himself that the deal wasn't going on. Um, and, and to see Victor Orta and um, Kinnear and stuff all like up in arms about it not working out and being heartbroken for it, it tells you that in terms of a Bielsa system, Dan James is is a guy that fits. Of course, the club wouldn't have been that heartbroken about it. Our our our, our sporting directors, our you know our transfer, um, uh, you know our, our guys dealing in the market in Kinnear and, and all of that. Uh, so that in and of itself made me think. Okay, well maybe Dan James is a lot more important to the higher ups at, at at Leeds than I would have initially thought. But realistically it was unfair of me to hate on the kid anyways it was really Swansea and to, to a big extent as well Manchester United that made all of that stuff happen the other point that a few people have mentioned and I I, I really agree on is there is there I, whether you believe in karma or God or all of that stuff that's up to you and your prerogatives of course right um we don't want to get into that but I feel like there is some force of things being meant to be and if we got him in 2018 or 2019 would we have picked up costa is not the best example but would we have eventually managed to to snag rafi rafinha for what we did get her get him for from ren if we had dan james i don't know if any of those things would have actually happened um had the deal with dan james have gone through and truly i don't know either if it would have been the best if we had got him that early i feel like if we had done so at that point in time he may have ended up being more like the helder costa for us as opposed to the jack harrison how jack harrison's developed and done well so i feel like things are kind of meant to be uh, a lot of the times in uh in, in life and again i gotta trust my club as I, as i always do you know victor orda has got an incredible eye for these things you know bielsa has certain types of players is the money for Dan James a lot? Sure, but I mean, a proven Premier League player, uh, he has all of the systems and all of the um, uh, traits that a Bielsa-specific system and a Bielsa-specific player is it wants and needed. A lot of brain-dead football fans, of course, right? Saying, oh my God, that's so much. You could have gotten Leon Bailey. You could have gotten this. You could have gotten that. None of the players anyone's mentioned to me fit any type, anywhere near the system that Bielsa wants for players. Whereas, if you take the time and look into Dan James himself, I think Man United fans, if, unless they're just morons, will happily admit them, themselves as well that Dan James is a crazy hard worker. His finishing can be a bit concerning. I mean, can be along the lines of someone said his finishing is like Morata at times which is a concern. You know, every once in a while you get a couple of bangers here and there, but that's maybe the um the concern for sure. But everywhere else, 
He's got everything that would fit into the lead system. He feels like he could be another Rafi for us where pick him up. People are kind of doubting it. Ah, uh, you know, th this might not be the best thing. He's not good at this. He's not good at that. But look at what Bielsa was able to do with mainly championship level players and how he was able to, to mold them into what they do. I mean, yeah, we've only gotten two points from the last three games at the start of the season. It is what it is, right? We're, I, I truly believe this season in the Premier League, we're just trying to survive. So... Um, and, and, and the second season syndrome, staying away from that, right? That, that's my biggest concern. I know a lot of people think, oh, Leeds should be pushing for eighth and seventh and shut up, just shut up, play our football, get our signings, get the team blooding together, doing well. But the main focus being in the league for next year, if we're in the league for next year, then the stadium expansion plans happen from 35,000, uh, capacity. We're going to be growing to 55, 60,000 capacity. It'll be sold out anyways. Um, so that'll be huge for the club going forward. The academy, um, the training facilities all going to tier one Premier League facilities and stuff. So everything is going. That's what I want to see. So all I can hope for Dan James to finish it is that he proves everybody wrong because I think other football fans, the only people that I've seen th speak to me positive about this Dan James deal are Welsh football fans that watch him play internationally and non-brain dead Man United fans that aren't just morons. Everybody else though, the brain dead United fans, the deluded United fans talk crap. Other fans of other teams talk crap saying it's a crazy amount of money. Go, go get, you know, uh, Leon Bailey instead. Like he would fit our system anyways. Right? So I'm excited. I'm going to trust in Bielsa and his system. We're going to trust in Victor Orta and the, and the upper management. And I mean, just look at this picture. You've had about five minutes to look at the damn picture. Look at how much he's loved. This kid is literally like a, a nephew to Victor Orta. Like, watch the documentary about when we lost out on him and how upset Victor Orta was. Just go watch it for me. I know even if you're a Man United fan or you hate me or you hate Leeds, go watch the Leeds documentary, the five or 10 minutes where they cover that in live, in real time, and look at how heartbroken he is and how upset he was because he knew how much everyone at Leeds wanted him there. And that in and of itself is what convinced me to change completely my mind about Dan James. I didn't have the best opinion of him. I thought he was a bit of a scumbag for just dropping leads and 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 then running off to Man United later. But when you watch that dude, I corrected myself and I was like, okay, I had a bad take there. That That's on me. So I hope he does well. I'm really excited for my club, man. The thought process in real life of Bielsa maybe reworking the system, maybe pulling Rodrigo out of the team. There's someone that, as always, you want to do well. Last summer, we were all really excited for it, I, I would say, as Leeds fans. It doesn't feel like that Rodrigo deal has worked out. I don't think Helder Costa has worked out either. Um, Somerville is growing into the team and doing really well, so I, I don't think Costa is going to get any chance to play, so maybe we get him. Maybe by the time you watch this, he's actually gone somewhere. Um, you know, Rodrigo, I think it's not necessarily his fault. He's had a lot of injuries, COVID, all that stuff. And then Bamford's a baller. So we brought in Rodrigo to be a striker. And then Bamford's like, hold on a second. I'm your guy. I'm so much your guy that I'm now going to be an England international as well. So you can't really blame R Rodrigo on any front. Like we, we we're just, we're just doing so well. So the hope is either Rodrigo ends up maybe being pulled out of the team in that weird box to box midfield role that Bielsa had him in. And he fights with Bamford for that striker role. Maybe they bounce off of each other and do well together as a duo. And then what makes me really excited is bringing Dan James into the starting 11. Does that mean that Rafi goes more central? gets to dictate the play a little bit more. Rafi through the middle behind Bamford. You have Dan James and uh, Jack Harrison out wide. And then you've got Calvin Phillips kind of pulling the strings through the back line as well. Maybe you've got a, a Cleeky and a Dallas, uh, you know, through the midfield too. Bro, I'm actually pretty hyped up about it. Play Everybody on full fitness would be amazing, man. Junior Firpo, Pascal Stroik, and then uh, Lorente through the back with, with, of course, Ailing there. Melier doing his thing. I'm excited for the season, man, and I just really hope that the the majority of our starting 11, Calvin Phillips specifically as well, can just stay healthy and keep going from uh, strength to strength to strength. So that's my thought process on Dan James for any of you guys that are interested and leads in general in the transfer window. That's 